plans for uh, the game Saturday night? You guys uh, watching yeah. anywhere? I'm going to watch it with my fam. Kick back, relax. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a nice little reclining from the bowl game. I'm sitting there and watching it on the flat screen. <laughs> Was a flat screen from the bowl game too? No, no. 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 <laughs> that was from two years ago. Uh, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> We're talking about the strength coach. You've cha your body's changed a little bit working with yeah, him. Yeah, definitely. Um, feel a lot better. Um, gotten stronger, gotten bigger. Close to 200 pounds now. Feel a lot better. What were you after Me the bowl too. game? Uh, about 190, 195. Wow, so that's yeah. substantial. Right? So but you don't there. look heavier. I mean, you just, oh. just more muscle. <laughs> more muscle. One more can you ask for? You feel faster. <laughs> Jay, how do you feel endurance? You feel faster, right? I feel faster. I feel um, more in shape. I feel really good. They've done a great job this off season, and uh, it's a pleasure working with them. I think Devin Bush said he's brought a lot of new concepts. How like, can you give an example of a couple of yeah, things he's changed? Yeah. Um, we, we do a lot of soft tissue work um, before we start our workouts. So that's pretty good, focusing on those little things to keep us enhanced as athletes. Um, and he's, he's been stressing that a lot, recovering and taking care of your body. That's the money maker. Was getting bigger a goal you had, or was it something that just happened naturally? It just naturally happened. Um, getting implemented into the program. So we got a lot of different nutritional values as well, um, and that's played a part in my development. And I know you had some ankle injuries or issues you were dealing with last year. Did you do anything with uh, Ben Herbert to sort of fix those this all season? I, I was good after the bowl game and having that time off to recover. Um, I, I did a lot of work with uh, the um, trainers and things of that nature, and uh, they kept me healthy. So, Do you set goals for yourself coming in, I mean, into the, this next season starting now? Yeah, what, what uh, might of, they course, of course, of um, course. I have some working goals on that. Finished yet? I'm not polished with them yet, but I want it all, and I'll disclose that when it gets closer to the season. Jay mentioned you and Chris focusing on pass protection. Is that an area of something you're? Yeah, focusing most on? definitely, most definitely. Um, the more you can do, the better. And uh, pass protection is definitely one of my things I'm uh, focusing on the most. Um, and it's been great developing those characteristics and furthering my development. What's the toughest part of uh, pass protection for you? Jay said that everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's different. I can't tell you because then the, the defense is going <laughs> to Do you bend well? Can you, can you get pad level? Yeah, pad level. most definitely. Okay. I have low center of gravity, so that's something I have working in my favor. Yeah. How is the offensive line shaping up in your, in your opinion? They're doing good. They're, they're doing really good. Uh, they're working very hard, and they're, they're very focused and into their playbook and staying out there, getting extra work and working on the little things that matter. And they're showing up each and every day, so I'm proud of those guys. The complexion of the coaching staff is a lot different when you first got here a couple years ago. How, how is it different now, especially third spring practice, fourth year? How is it different? Uh, does it feel a lot different dynamic-wise? Yeah, I mean, you, you live and you grow. Um, so coaches changed some things and kept some things. And that's happened every year. Um, and each year feels different. Each year feels better than the last. And... That's the goal of the game, to continue to progress and uh, work in the right direction. Jay Harbaugh is entering his second year as running backs coach. What's the biggest difference you've seen in him as a coach from the first year to the second year? Just more knowledge about us, mm -hmm. having more time with us and learning us and our characteristics as backs and as a unit. Um, and he's been able to implement you know, some different things for each individual guy, and it's been able to help us in the right direction. What has he been able to implement for you? Are you allowed to give that away? Can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a secret. You'll see in the fall. <laughs> How's your relationship with Chris grown over the past couple of years? It's been great. We've grown a lot closer. Um, obviously, we compete a lot, and we compete at a high level against each other. But we've been able to push each other and learn off each other um, and just build that relationship, that friendship, to keep each other going, keep each other motivated, and make sure that whoever's on the field at whatever time we're going to succeed. Was, was that something that developed maybe more last year than the year before? Yeah, yeah. Each year has been developing more and more, and this year has definitely been the strongest. Um, and we're continuing to grow that relationship. I think all of us backs as a unit are doing the same thing. We're getting really close. We're doing things outside of just football to build that chemistry, build that relationship. And it's been great to be a part of. What have you seen from uh, some of the younger guys, Kareem and Omori, Kurt? Just more focus. And they're taking a lot of advice from the older guys, such as myself and Chris, um, and the guys that are more experienced, like Ben Mason. Um, and they're implementing it themselves. Uh, Matt Brown is killing it. He's one of our fullbacks. Um, Jared Wangler as well, Peter Bush. 
they're all doing great. <laughs> so it's really hard to single anybody out because they're all doing great things at different times, and I love running behind them and with them. Did you get feedback from the NFL? Did you go that far? And, and I did. I did. And I got a lot of great feedback. And, what did they uh, tell you to work on, or, or what did they have suggestions? I can't tell you. No? <laughs> I can't tell you. Those part of your <laughs> can't tell you. I can't tell you. I'm in the submarine right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the subs, speaking of Jim, Devin last night was talking about how he's, he's actually taking more of a give and take with the guys a little bit more with yeah, the players. Are that's, you seeing that? That's definitely one thing I've been proud of Coach um, doing. He's been more personal with the guys. and more approachable and that's definitely been helping you know I think you know coach is a football guru and he's been so focused on you know the game and you know taking a step back from that and continuing to build stronger relationships with the players and changed our culture changed our, our atmosphere around this facility and it's been great and how's it I mean is he going to movies with you guys or what's he doing nah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing kidding that. but he's you know. not doing that but <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> we're just more personal mm -hmm. You know, he wants a hug sometimes. Sometimes you got to give him a hug. <laughs> hey, the guy wants a hug. <laughs> when did you first start noticing? Was it after the bowl game? Was it start spring After practice? the bowl game. After the bowl game, and uh, we had a sour taste in our mouth. Um, I did. He did. Everybody in his facility. And, you know, he was open. He's like, what do we need to do? What can I do? And how often do you see that from a coach asking his players? That, that's stronger than anything. And what did you guys tell him? Can't tell you. <laughs> you can't tell us anything. Can't, you tell you. can't tell you. I'm but that sorry. Was a team wide meeting type deal. Yeah, he he addressed the whole team, addressed the whole team, man. I mean, hey, when you're expecting all from your players, you got to give your all to him. He's been doing that, but he's taking it a step further, which is I'm glad to see. And he literally needs a hug. Like, yeah, man. Like, coach wants a hug. Got to give coach a hug. Have you given coach a hug? I have. Good. Yeah. Walked in this morning. Hey, coach, how you doing? Good. <laughs> Gave him a hug. <laughs> Along with that, is there any? Is there like a, a stronger sense of urgency given the way that the season finished out? Yeah, most definitely because everything counts. Every second, every rep, um, regardless if we're in the weight room or on the field, it counts, and we got to make sure we take advantage of those opportunities so we don't fall short. Zach mentioned the other day that there might not be any clear leaders on defense. Is that a role you're angling for right now? Me? Yeah, I want offensive captain. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. I want to be offensive captain this year. So there you That's go. one of your you goals. One. Thank you. Got you. One. you got it out of me. Thank you. What, what are you doing to try to get that? Just being more vocal. Being more vocal. Leading more by example. I, I, I was doing that previously, but kind of on a selfish matter. And now I want to be more contagious. Mm -hmm. I want the guys around me to feel it. Can you, can you explain what you mean by selfish matter? Selfish matter meaning that I was focusing on, you know, what I needed to do to help the team and not really what other guys could do or we could do together to help the team. You know, so I was making sure that I was at my best so I can give the offense my best. And this year, along with that, I've been able to find a balance between doing that for myself and the guys around me because I, I know the game more. And when you know the game more, you can help more. Was there anyone that, that even showed you how to do that and you learned that from? Yeah, um, Coach Harbaugh. Just talking to Coach. He does it. He does it at a high level. And he can be contagious, so I want to be like that. I want to be contagious. What are your early impressions of Shea? Great guy. Great guy, great player. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. What does he add? Does he bring a different wrinkle to the offense? I can't tell you. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell you. <laughs> can't tell you. All of the guys are doing something different, and it's been amazing to see. Those guys are making some great plays, and they've amped up that competition. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, a lot of people are going to be impressed. I'm impressed. I'm proud of those guys.